Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Good Old Houses Japan.、Um, it's been a very long and hot summer, but now that's finally over, it's getting cool now in Japan. The main topic today、uh, there was、uh, big news the land price of countryside Japan has seen an、uh, increase in over for the first time. In 31 years.、Um, of course, there's a lot of detail and、uh, a lot of explanation needed behind this,、uh, which I'll get into later. And then, of course, I'll talk about there are some sites we, where you can easily check、uh, the land price trend over the years.、Um, I'm sure、uh, in the countryside, in the city, you know, it'll be good to have reference of,、uh, you know, If the property price is going up or down,、um, if you feel like you're buying too expensive.、Um, so, those are、uh, the sites where you can check later in this video.、Um, before that, some life updates. So, first of all, it has been a very busy summer.、Um, there have been a lot of uh, uh, people from overseas who、uh, I help with、uh, with the purchase of their.、Uh, Properties in Japan, mostly traditional houses, some older, some not.、Um, they're all over the place. There are the ones in the northern part of Kyoto Prefecture,、uh, there are ones in Nara,、uh, there are also ones in Toyama Prefecture, and there was something in Tokushima, which was on the Shikoku Island as well.、Um, most of them. Have、uh, finished the purchase. Some are still in progress, but uh, hopefully uh, there will be a chance for me to maybe do an interview on video or maybe as an article on the website Koryoya. That、uh, I only have one article as of now, but I wanted to add a few more on, on the, the people I've helped with and their story behind、uh, why they decided to purchase, and of course uh, uh, have them show their house as well. Um, the renovation uh, project uh, of two Machia houses are still in progress.、Um, there are some photos that I can show on how they're doing now.、Um, they will be completed by the end of、uh, this year. And、uh, of course, they're architects, they're contractors, so I'm mainly just helping with the communication for,、uh, for the clients. Um, there is one in Nara as well that I'm trying to find a suitable architect contractor for the renovation work. It's not going to be a full scale renovation, so it's a bit difficult to find a contractor who will do a more partial work, and especially when the owner is somebody from overseas. And to my surprise, compared to Kyoto City, where it's really relatively easy finding somebody who will. Interested to take、uh, over the renovation work. In Nara, I would say at least I've reached out to six,、um, seven contractors and two or three architects.、Um, out of the contractors, only one replied.、Um, of course, I tried to share most of the detail on email. You know, it's going to be a foreigner and this is the budget and so on.、Um, but Only one out of the six or seven contractors, and that one contractor's reply is like this with no explanation. We cannot overtake the work, period. No reason why. That's it. Also, this is always almost forgotten. I also have a Patreon page that I have not been doing a great job updating.、Um, Recently, I'm thinking to use it as a platform to、um, share、uh, information on some properties that、uh, are not available to, to the public, public to the market yet,、uh, mainly for the reasons maybe the seller hasn't officially decided on the price,、uh, or it's just something that is in the preparation stage, but、uh, you know, something that I could easily and more quickly share. And a、uh, page I like、uh, Patreon. And if you're somebody who wants to get a more uh, uh, real time or some、um, not non public information and interesting 
traditional houses they're available this is a way to support and this is the patreon page um, i would love to update a bit more lastly um, i think a lot of people are uh, curious what's the progress of the house the machia house i bought in the northern part of japan ishikawa prefecture nanao city which i was uh, explaining in the previous video so unfortunately no progress no progress i have been talking to the contractors getting some plans getting a budget but the biggest hurdle now is the communication with the neighbor um, the machia is right beside uh, a big bigger machia that's like a soil manufacturer that has been in the area for very very long and that person who runs um, the shop i guess you would say obasan in in her, her 60s or 70s um, who is also the head of the neighborhood who is quite against the idea of having a guest house on the second floor um in the first time i talked to her she was all smiling and so you know she was happy somebody bought the house so that it could be used for something but the second time i saw her she suddenly brought this up you know um, she's talked to the people in the neighborhood they think they won't like to have a guest house there uh, especially herself because i guess she's right beside my house the house in nanao um, of course, it's my it's a place I bought. Uh, in terms of zoning, there's no problem running a guest house. So of, of course, she doesn't have the, the right to stop me from what I want to do. But um, I think I should reach a, a common ground with the neighbor and her, her and the neighborhood. So, you know, uh, we're all happy with the result of what uh, the house could be used to so that's the reason that um, it's going to take a bit longer to sort out the not the hard part but the, the soft part with the communication uh, with the people in the neighborhood and i think that's something that will uh, always be something you should consider uh, especially if you want to do some sort of business that's all for the news let me get it to the main topic today the news about uh, the land price increase in countryside Japan for the first time in 31 years. Um, it'll be easier for me to show you all the things on the website, so that's what I'm going to do now. So here we are. These are the news that you can see. Residential land prices in regional Japan up for first time in 31 years. And as you can see, this is an English article on Japan Times. There are a few more sites that I would like to see you to so you can understand the detail of it. But basically, the average price of residential land in regional parts of Japan as of July 1st, 2023, rose by 0.1% from a year earlier, making the first increase in 31 years. So that's about when the bubble burst, uh, burst in, in the early 1990s for Japan. So first of all, regional Japan, let me give you a definition of what this means. This is another site, news by NHK. First of all, I would like to just explain that regional Japan or Chihoken basically means anywhere outside of the three biggest metropolitan area Tokyo, Nagoya and Osaka so that's a lot of uh, area almost the entire Japan this is another article by NHK this is an indicator of where the increase were and where the decrease in land value uh, are the red area, as you can see, Tokyo metropolitan area, Kanto region, Chiba, Kana, uh, Kanagawa, so Yokohama, Nagoya, and as well as Kansai, Osaka, Kyoto, Kobe. And the other area that's included in the Chiho regional area uh, is Fukuoka. You can see there uh, a bunch of red dots. Uh, they are concentrated here. To go into detail, basically you see the entire... Um, Tokyo metropolitan area is all red 
and uh, from the ranking you can see um, and the 1185 locations in Tokyo is in they see increase in only 23 with a decrease I'm not sure where so basically 92 percent of the entire Tokyo uh, they have seen an increase in land price 80 percent for Okinawa 80 percent 87 percent Okinawa 80 percent for Kanagawa Ken so where Yokohama is close to Tokyo and Aichi Ken also 75 percent uh, where Nagoya is also Osaka 75 percent and Fukuoka, Saitama, Chiba, Ishikawa, where Kanazawa is, and we have Kyoto, and rank number top 10 on this uh, increase. And if you go see the decreased area, for example, top, Ehime, second, Tokushima, third, Kochi. And all of these prefectures, they are part of the Shikoku Island, uh, and even the uh, fourth prefecture in a part of uh, uh, Shikoku Island, Kagawa, is also on, listed on the sixth place. So we can pretty much tell that uh, the entire Shikoku Island, uh, it's the part of Japan that is seeing the most decrease in uh, land price. And then even for Kyoto Prefecture, the top of Kyoto, of course, it's uh, far away from downtown Kyoto and of course the downtown of Osaka, but uh, popular tourist attractions, for example, Inecho, over here, it's the only red dot out of all these locations in the northern part of Kyoto Prefecture. And lastly, we're at Okinawa, and uh, you can tell 2022, 2023, pretty much it's all red and even redder now. Um, I'm sure these are all the tourist spots that people go to, but Okinawa has becoming uh, of course more and more expensive like all the other tourist major tourist attractions around Japan and lastly we are on the land price uh, tochidai info dot uh, tochidai dot info page this is basically the page that shows you all the data of land prices of uh, Japan in general and of course different prefectures different cities and uh, even to the different small areas of each region um, first of all this is the overall uh, trend of the land prices in Japan uh, the orange and yellow uh, indicator they use are the appraised value uh, so it's not the actual uh, price that the lands were being uh, sold and purchased but uh, I think it's uh, calculated by uh, one is by the government of Japan, the other one is by uh, the prefecture separately. But the, the green one is the average of, of this uh, trend. As you can see, obviously, after the bubble burst in the 90s, early 90s, it's been going down all the way. And uh, we're seeing a little bit of increase in recent years. And this is a good indicator, I guess it's visually easy to see um, this is uh, the trend comparison from uh, this year and last year by the way so you can see still most of the Tohoku region it's still uh, you see seen decrease in the land price except for Miyagi this is where Sendai is the biggest city of uh, uh, Tohoku area and of course the entire uh, Tokyo uh, metropolitan area the area around it we're seeing increase the mountainous area, Nagano, Gifu, Shizuoka, we're all seeing decrease. And, and Kansai region in general, we're still seeing uh, some increase. Uh, whereas the southern part, Wakayama, and even Nara decrease. And most part of the Chukoku region decrease, but uh, some increase in Hiroshima. The entire Shikoku island also decrease. And then uh, the northern part of Fukuoka, we're seeing increase in. Uh, land price compared to the decrease in the southern part of uh, Kyushu and then Okinawa obviously is a plus increase as well and then uh, here this is just uh, a graph showing you the uh, discrepancy the gap between the appraised value which is green and the red uh, the actual uh, transaction uh, value where uh, land is being sold and purchased so you can see obviously the price value is still a lot higher uh, on average compared to the the 
uh, value that was actually being sold. Uh, but again, this is an average. So there are definitely areas where uh, the um, actual transaction is a lot higher than the appraised value, uh, especially in the expensive areas like Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. And I think a lot of people are interested in the land price of Kyoto Prefecture and Kyoto City. So just briefly showing you what it's like in Kyoto. The average is about uh, 250,000 yen per square meter. Uh, they like to use tsubo, tsukotamba, tsuko, tsubotanka. And that's about uh, 850,000 yen per tsubo. Uh, tsubo is about three times of a uh, 3.3 square meter is one tsubo um, and if you go into obviously Kyoto City is the most expensive out of the Kyoto Prefecture um, but even within Pyo Kyoto Prefecture you can see uh, Shimogyoku, Nakagyoku these two are the most expensive compared to Yamashina, Fushimi they are the cheapest and for example you can get into the Shimogyoku and you really actually you can see some of the transactions that was uh, um, on the record for each specific location. Uh, with this, it, it, I think it's a good indicator of, uh, you know, if you see some property, you want to know what uh, the prices are, uh, they're being sold and being purchased, then this is a, this will be a good indicator of, um, the, what it's like for the land around and as well as the trend that you might be expecting in the coming years. Um, Shimogyoku, where it's close to Kyoto, si uh, Kyoto Station, and uh, Shijo Karasuma area, where you have all the shops and all the business districts, is obviously where um, you'll see most of the increase. And that's it. Uh, I'll see you again. Bye bye.